Hey everyone, I'm Lil Seabass here for July 1940 Russian turn. This will be a fairly uneventful turn for the Russians. Um, they do have 40 bucks, so that's nice, and um, they can finally buy some stuff uh, at scale. Uh, so they get a free tech roll from the Pact, and they're going to buy another one. They really want to get uh, advanced artillery, and they really want to move forward on heavy armor as well. Um, they're going to start the construction of a naval base in uh, Iraq, right on the Persian Gulf there. That's going to take three turns and uh, cost $4 the first turn. They're going to build a militia in southern Iran. Two medium armor uh, for their front with Germany. A mountain infantry to eventually go down uh, to uh, northern and uh, Transcaucasia, which is a mountain, especially Transcaucasia, which is a mountain territory and worth $5. Five regular infantry, and they're going to save a buck. And the Chinese communists have four dollars, and they're going to spend that on a mountain infantry. So let's do these tech rolls. Let's grab these. And first, um, we will do advanced artillery, they need seven or higher. Missed. Second, they want to get heavy armor. They're already on, they start the game on stage one. Stage two, eight or higher. Oh, very nice. Okay. So once again, I don't have a roundel for them, so let me make one. Okay, so they get heavy armor. Stage two, right there. Okay. So combat moves. Um, we're going to have a couple. Um... Let's do the easy ones first, and let me grab their stuff so that I have their roundels. Um, I thought about trying another low odds uh, border clash over here, but decided instead I wanted to go ahead and take these remaining Mongolian territories. So, some point Japan and Russia are going to have to commit to some level of spending over here on this border. Um, Japan really thinking about going to war with Russia at some point. Um, Russia would rather not go to war with Japan and have to fight two fronts, but um, both of them get objectives for this border security at the end of the game. So, okay, this um, cavalry is going to go one, two. Take that territory. This motorized is going to go one, two, and take that territory like that. Those are technically combat movements. Um, and then this light tank is going to go one and take out Tehran to finish off Iran there. Put that there, and then um, over here, uh, we're going to do another walk-in into Lithu Lithuania. Now that is worth a buck, so that's another victory objective territory. For the Soviets, I'm going to go move them up one of their territory income from 10 to 11. And then that now gives them another victory point as well. So they go from 9 to 10 victory points. And the common turn are also at 10. So common turn are now winning this game with 10 victory objectives to 9 for the Allies and 7 for the Axis. So, and then we'll also walk in from here to here into Estonia. That's not worth a IPP, so it's not a victory objective. So that's what that all looks like. Let me see if I have any other combat movement. That looks like it for this turn. So um, let's do non-combat movement now. Um... Let's see. I 
think I'll keep these planes here for now. Um, they are covering this territory right here. So if Japan comes into here, we, these planes would theoretically be able to go back and hit it. Um, so I think I'll leave those planes there. Uh, I am going to move. I'm going to keep uh, two infantry and in, I'm going to keep two infantry in southern Iran and I'm going to move one up to Azerbaijan there um, or do I want to move all three back it's going to be a while until that naval base is built um, no I want to I want to keep two down there um, And I might move those into Iraq where I'm going to build my naval base like that. And then I'll put my militia in southern Iran. Uh, up here, um, I do. How many militia did I buy? One. So. Uh, I'll move this cavalry, uh, let's see, got two rail moves, right? So I'll move, actually, first of all, I'll move this guy from here to here. Um, I'll move the cavalry one, two to there. I'll move the light tank to there along with him. And then I'll leave one artillery here. And we will move the other one by rail down to Kiev, right there, and then um, I think we'll move one of these motorized up to here with this tank. Yeah, for now, that makes sense. Um, the Navy, uh, we're going to go ahead and consolidate our Navy in here, like this. It's two cruisers, two destroyers, three subs, and then these guys will also move into there. So that's, Soviet's got quite a Navy in the Baltic now, which Germany is going to need to take account of. Um, and we'll land the Marine in Latvia, right there. Okay, uh, over here, um, and I'm thinking about those planes. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave them there for this turn, but next turn they're going to have to go back to the western part of Russia. Um, I thought about the... I bought a mountain infantry who's going to go in here, and so this cavalry really needs to stay there for their last stand, so to speak. Um, okay. Oh, I'm going to move this Soviet coastal sub to there. All right, I think that's it. Um, so let's go ahead and place units. And... Uh, I'll show you what all that looks like, and that should give you a pretty good view of it. So let me go start grabbing some units. Uh, first of all, the Soviet Mountain Infantry for four dollars. I'm going to build him as close to these mountain territories as I can. So I'm going to build him at this major factory in Stalingrad, right there. Two Soviet medium tanks for 12 bucks, and 
I'm going to build one here in Kiev. And I'm going to build one in Stalingrad. So that's two units I built in Stalingrad. <clears throat> the Soviet militia, as I told you it would, will go in southern Iran, which is slightly off screen for you. So they'll go right here. Like that. And then I've got four infantry. Five infantry. Cost me 15 bucks. So I want to build. Let's see. I want to spread these around a little bit. Uh, I could build one in each city. Um, in fact, I'll definitely build uh, one here and another one in Leningrad, too. And then I'll probably build, I've got three more, so I'll probably build two in Moscow. this and I'll build one down here um, or do I want to build another one here in Kiev I think I'll build another one in Kiev instead I built one here and I built one here yeah I can this is a minor factory oh wait, he already built a tank so I can't build anything there. So I guess I will build him in uh, Stalingrad. Okay. Then I'm going to go grab the mountain infantry for Communist China. And he's going to get built right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put put the naval base on stage three of the build chart. And then I gotta build a naval base under construction in Iraq, which you can't see right now. So you now have a naval base under construction right there. Okay, I need to roll for recruitment. I've got two Chinese communist territories, so one or two would be really nice for them. Didn't get it. Okay, so let's collect income. Um, Soviet Union is at, oh, they have to roll for their income increase, Sleeping Bear. They're at 27, and they will add... 11 to that. So they've rolled 12 and 11 the last two turns. So they go from 27 to 38. They're almost at their wartime income. So they're going to collect 38 plus 11 is 49. Uh, plus... Um, Three, that's 52. Wow, 52 bucks for Russia. If you're Germany at this point, you're thinking, um, and I'm Germany, so I'm thinking, wow, I don't have to go to war, war with Russia in this game. Um, Germany with bonuses has 50 ish and so um, they're gonna get more next turn they're gonna get Yugoslavia um, and uh, but they can't increase income this fast and all those territories that Russia has taken um, yeah those are really good income increase rules for Russia 
who has 52 bucks to spend. And this will help him with, in the war against Japan, too, now. Because now Russia can only has to spend 50 to match Germany. Now they can spend an extra 3 bucks, maybe buy an infantry or something, for the other front. Uh, Communist China is going to get 2 bucks. They have one... Uh, actually... Do they have any territories worth any income? They actually don't. Uh, so they should only get one dollar because um, they have a wartime bonus, so they only get one buck. Okay. Uh, I think I did everything. Recruitment rolls. I miss anything? Let me know if I did. The income increase for Russia, which is very fortunate for them. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, Russia and Chinese communists, July 1940. Admiral Sebas signing off.